Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox Android. So this video will be in continuation with our last video. So in the last video we have learned that how to save the user's profile data, right? Like profile picture, user's name, some status of the user to our Firebase. So in this video we'll be fetching that user's data to our Android application, right? So if you haven't watched my last video, make sure you watch that video first because we'll be using that part of the code in this video as well. So it will be better for you to understand this tutorial. So make sure you watch that by clicking on this I button. So let me just demonstrate what we're going to get by the end of this video. So here you can see we have uh, saved the user's first name, last name and the status of the user in real time database. And we have stored user's profile picture in Firebase storage, right? So this is the user's profile picture. So let me just close this app once and open it again. So here you can see we have fetched all the data of the user's profile to our Android application. So if you want to implement the same to your Android application, make sure you watch this video till the end. So without much ado, let's get started. So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for saving the notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So let's just create an activity where we are going to fetch the data of the user's profile. So for that, just right click here, new activity, and we are going to get empty activity, right? So let's just name it as user profile activity so guys let's just uh, first design the front end part of this activity so what we are going to do is we are going to implement a circular image view and two text views right so for this circular image I'll just copy this only that we have implemented in, in the last video so let's just copy this and paste it here and as a default profile picture i have this profile avatar picture right so i'll set this to this particular image view right now let me just implement two text views for the user's full name and the status of the user right So guys, we are done with the front end part. So we'll fetch the user's profile picture in this image view and we'll get the full name here and the status of the user here. So now let us just go to the backend code of this activity. So let us just first do the view binding thing. Now let us just declare certain variables. So the very first one will be the Firebase authentication variable. So let us just name it as auth only. So Firebase auth. The 
the second one will be for the database reference the next one will be for the storage reference here So the very first thing we are going to do is we are going to get the UID of the user, right? The current user that has logged into our Android application. So for that, we'll get the current user. So Firebase auth dot get instance, right? And then we'll get its UID. So auth dot current user. So we have got the UID here. Now we'll uh, get the database reference. So database reference is equal to Firebase database dot get instance dot get reference and the reference will be to the users node, right? So because all the data of the users is the child of the users node, then we'll check if UID is not empty we'll call a method get user data right so let us just create this method so inside this we'll get the data from the real-time database so data reference dot child the child of this node will be the UID of the user that has logged into the application so we'll attach the value event listener and we'll pass the object of the value event listener class so we need to implement some members so click here alt enter implement members so we'll implement both the methods so this on data change will be called and will get the data of the user inside this snapshot so user is equal to snapshot dot get value and we will convert it to a user object of the user class that we have created in the last video right so now we'll set this data to our text views so binding dot tv full name dot set text so user dot first name space and we'll concatenate it with the last name as well user dot last name All right and now we'll put the data to our bio as well so tv bio dot set text So okay we have set the data here and now we are going to create two more methods for displaying the progress bar so for that the first method will be so we have already implemented the dialog bar in the last video so let me just refer to that one only so I'll just go to main activity and we have these two methods so let me just copy these methods so these two methods will be used to show and hide the progress bar uh, okay so let us just call this method here itself and whenever we are getting the data we'll call show progress bar and in case for any chance we are the we are failed to get the data so we'll call hide progress bar here and here we'll get call another method get user profile so basically this method will get the user's profile and put it to the image view so we'll refer to the storage reference so firebase storage dot get instance dot reference 
डॉट चाइल्ड एंड द पाथ फॉर दिस इमेज विल बी इन साइड द यूजर्स डायरेक्टरी एंड द नेम ऑफ द फाइल विल बी द यू आई टी ऑफ द यूजर राइट सो हेयर आई हैव एडेड डॉट जे पी जी बट इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैवन एडेड जे पी जी वाइल अपलोडिंग द फाइल सो आई हैव चेंज द कोड लिटल बेट सो इफ यू कैन सी हेयर वेज इट दिस इज इन साइड द मेन एक्टिविटी सो आई हैव एडेड जे डॉट जे पी जी हेयर सो इन केस यू आर नॉट वाइल सेविंग द प्रोफाइल पिक्चर यू आर नॉट गिविंग द फाइल एक्सटेंशन देन you need not to put dot jpg here you can just leave it blank users slash uid right so we have got the storage reference now we'll create a local file so well local file and let's just create it create temporary file right and let us just name it as temp image and that will define the temporary image and the extension for that will be jpg you need to mention the extension here right doesn't matter if you have put it in your image name or not right so storage reference dot get file and we'll get this file to our local file variable dot add on success listener right and we'll also attach the on failure listener so once uh, the we get the profile picture of the user successfully will this callback method will be called so inside this we'll get the image in this bitmap so bitmap factory dot decode file file dot absolute path right and now we'll put it to the image view binding dot profile pic image dot set image bitmap this one and we'll set this particular image here and here we'll call hide progress bar and in case uh, we are failed to get the image the first method we are going to call is hide progress bar and then we are going to raise a toast and here also we are going to change the context because we have copied this from the main activity so let me just do that and we need to raise the same toast here as well fail to get user profile data right so i guess that is pretty much everything we need to do to retrieve the user's profile data so what we have done we have got the uid of the user that the user has logged into our android application then we have got the reference for our real time database and we have called this method get users data so when we call this method we will get the users data and we'll save it to the user class object the class that we have created in the last video so we have set both the text views the full name and the bio from this user class object then we have got this method get user profile so basically this method will get the user's profile picture right so we have got the user's profile picture and we have set it to the image view that we have in our activity and in case we are failed to retrieve the data we will hide the progress bar and we'll raise the toes that will let the user know that we have we haven't got the profile picture for some reason right so let me just quickly install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not right so okay as the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on my mobile screen if i just open up this app so you can see first we have fetched the user's profile data then we have fetched the profile picture so let's just do one thing let me just uh, change this value 
to something else let's just change it to robin only oops let's okay let me now just close this app here you can see it has been changed in real time because there is a event listener on this whenever we change a value it will be reflected in real time here so i guess we have successfully implemented this feature to our android application and i also hope that you guys have understood the code in case of any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on your skin right now in case you like the video make sure to hit the thumbs up button in case you new to this channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving notification of the upcoming videos so that is it for today's video See another video. Bye.